Hi, I made this for those who want to uh, stitch together the uh, dash cam footage from all three cameras onto uh, one screen uh, so they can either view it or make a video to share online. First thing you need to do is download a, uh, an application called Wonder Sh or Wondershare Filmora 9. What it is, it's a regular video editor. Uh, all you need to do is uh, download the trial version of it which seems to be completely operable uh, with no uh, limitations at all. So once you download it, you open the app. Once this is uh, on screen, you go to this area where it's, uh, and, and click on New Project, and then you get this screen. Now it's gonna, a screen is going to pop up to uh, ask you if you want to do tutorials just close that and in this area click on the folder to import media files now I already uh, have one session there's three files one for each view uh, stored in a file named Tesla on my desktop uh, I found it and opened it up all I have to do now is lasso all three of these to select them and click open so then they're brought into the uh, media or the import area here. They're still all selected. I want to deselect. Eventually we want to place all the, the three folders down here in their own tracks. But as you can see, there's only one video track. So what you have to do is go up to this box where it says plus, click add video tracks. So now we have two, one and two. We need one more, so we'll repeat that process. Now we have three of them. So starting on the left up here with the first file, which is the front, I'll click on that and drag it down to the bottom one, which is track number one. Now it's asking me if I want to match uh, the media to the project settings. Click yes. Then I'll choose the second one. Click on it and drag it to track two. And I'll do the same for the third one in track three. Once they're all there, we need to resize each one so they can fit on the screen side by side. To do that, start with one. I'm going to start with the bottom one. I'm going to double click anywhere on it to choose it. And that opens this dialog box right here. One of which says, the first one on top says transform. Open that dialog and you'll see this line which says scale. Go to where it says 100%, double click or choose it, sorry, and type in 33.3. .3. And then click OK. I'm going to do the same one for the second one in track 2. Double click there. Go up here. Again, type 33.3. .3. Click OK. And then the top one on top, the top track double click there and do the same thing 33.3 .3, enter now all three videos have been scaled to this size up here right and right now they're on top of each other so all you have to do is click on one and move it away I forgot which one this is let's say that's the left so there's two on top of each other here so I'm just gonna click on one move it over and I'm using the guidelines to help me uh, align all three of them in the same area. This is it. That's done. All you have to do now is click play and you'll see all three playing at the same time. And that's going to last for one minute. At any time, let's stop it. Now all we need to do is go to up here in the um, menus and, and click on export click on that and say create video and then you get a window here that lets you choose from different formats I'm gonna leave it in mp4 uh, to name my file I'm gonna call it my video 3 because I already have one or two already done then here you choose a location I'm gonna put the final product back in the folder where my original files are 
uh, it already chose to do the resolution of uh, 1280 by 960 frame rate 50 uh, and it tells you what the size is going to be at the end in this case 36.6 megabytes duration one minute uh, you could go into settings and change things, but why? Let's just click on export. And it is rendering, and it will take about two minutes. Uh, right now it's running a little bit slow because I am doing it at the same time as my screen recorder. And they're both keeping my computer a little bit busy. But in about two minutes... It should be done. So now it's done. Uh, all we need to do is Basically, it, it, it rendered and it placed it in my folder named Tesla. We're just going to go ahead and close. Close this window up here. And basically, close the whole thing. Save changes, not necessarily. Say no. And we'll go into my Tesla folder here. This is one I made before. And this is my, the one I just did, which is called My Video 3. Let's click on that, and there you are. I hope this works for you. If, uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. Okay, bye.